All right, welcome to another episode of Beyond All Reason. I am your host, Seto Kaiva, and we are back on Comet Catcher for a one versus one. Goopy in the right versus Mitvit on the left. This is, again, an extremely metal-rich map, which I am very much looking forward to seeing how these two pros make use of. Let's go ahead and just get ratty into it. A fiddle. Oops, did I pause it? My bad. Haha. This is the replay speed functions. Okay. Goopy, two maxes. Not a three. You could could just start there and get a three maxes, but then you're kind of um exposed in Mitvit's position as he is from three sides at once. He has this part to worry about, this part there and the front also. Goopy has uh, positioned himself a little better in the corner here. He does still get three maxes, just a bit more of a walking time, so he can only cover that with two LLTs. So we will see, this should be interesting. The initial exchanges will happen around the two minute mark, would be my guess. Having, it's about the time it would take you to build a factory, which I'm guessing is a vehicle one. Oh, oh Mitvit, that's something I've not seen yet. <laughs> that someone actually builds the uh, radar tower. The, like, right off the bat. I mean, it's not going to spot anything, but it's also not going to drain energy. It doesn't drain energy like it does in Total Annihilation, which I'm sure it does. Hmm. Okay, Mitvit is out with three weasels, instigator and a construction vehicle. Goopy is out with 15... 15 weasels. Oh, okay. And uh, he built one solar collector there. He's got three more coming up. Oh, I knew it. You get four solar collectors. That's at the minimum you've got to have, or you're going to stall so hard. Mitvit is uh, assisting, is assist building out his uh, initial scouts and tank. He is um, fairly. What do I want to say here? He's making his base really close together. So it's easier to defend. His solar collectors can act like walls. They will close up when they're shot. So it's going to be very hard to deal with those. Okay, Goopy is also assist building out. That's no way he could build those that fast otherwise. He's going to use a lot of resources, but he's got four solars. He's got his commander making energy. He's got this construction vehicle, I think. Yeah, making ten. The, I don't know if I've gone into this before, but each construction vehicle makes ten energy just by being alive to begin with. So that actually really helps when you have a mass up like that. They can really help to uh, lessen the burden of having to build so much power. Of course, their vehicles do cost a lot to begin with. Okay, this one is completely unchallenged here. So it's gonna get two max kills minimum would be my guess. Unless Skippy sees it. Mm, I didn't see it. He doesn't even have a radar. It's nearly three minutes and no radar. Okay, Goopy expected Mitvet to start in the corner, which is the safe play, but he started here, which is a little easier, but Mitvet knows that, so he's positioned his tanks and has no LLT, but he does have... Oh, yep, the tanks really, really doing work here. I'm not sure he's gonna kill anything, really. He got caught. But the tank's blocked by their own solars. He, he's going back into the tanks instead of running around, which he would have killed the Mexus with. Ugh. Goopy is really committing to this, though. He has built two more Mexes and a, um, a laser tower with his construction vehicle on Rome. Mitvit now has five solars. Okay. He, he did close off a little bit of energy income to Mitvit there, but Mitvit is now energy gluting, so, and he has not lost a single max that I can tell. There's quite a few wreckages here, all of them scouts. Not much metal there. It's not gonna matter. Okay, Mitvit's radar sees all of this. That blind spot means nothing. Goopy's scouts kill, Mit kill Mitvit's scouts, but we'll get caught by the tanks before they can, wait. Are they going to get the kill? They're gonna kill one vehicle. Okay, they're gonna kill one construction vehicle. That's pretty good. I mean, oh, they're gonna kill both construction vehicles. That's actually really good. 
you you want to expand with two construction vehicles minimum i think because of their uh, build power is pretty low individually their build power is 90 so they will build a single mechs a lot faster with two they will also be able to build the laser towers to guard said mechs so you waste a lot less time and they can actually protect each other repair each other and reclaim the odd scout that happens to find them unprotected okay now Mitvit is up to 10 tanks. That's a really, really dangerous force to deal with. 10 light tanks are gonna be charging into Goopy. Now, the way that works, of course, Goopy can try to game that if he has his tanks on the side, but uh, does he, he doesn't see what's going on. He might suspect it though. You might suspect that uh, this force is coming. Okay, Mifet was smart. He brought a scout because the, la the tanks can't see. See that circle there? They cannot see that far on their own, but with a scout vehicle to watch for them, they can spot much, much further away. So they will be able to catch Goopy's tanks. And although Goopy does manage to kill a couple, I'm damaging quite a few actually. So if Mitvit, if Mitvit bleeds a lot of casualties here, trying to break through, then honestly he might not have enough. Oh, yep, Gooby's commander has caught them. He has no scout to see that. If he had left his scout alive and left his scout with the force, the scout would have seen the commander before it was too late. Because when you're in this range already, you are far, far too late to notice that commander before you run right into it and get disintegrator gunned. You have, you have got to have a scout with your tanks, or you're dead. That's just how it is. Goopy, good work. So, he saved himself. He doesn't get the reclaim from the Unity D guns, but there's quite a few dead ones still here. So he can not have to worry about not having much expansion left he can reclaim what is there in an easy range of a commander and he will get a jump off point to proceed he has a nano turret which is very very important mitvet doesn't have a nano turret he's keeping his commander at home using its 300 build power for his factory but mitvet has having to jump out his construction vehicles because goopy dealt him a pretty big blow He's naked expanding though, so if Goopy... Goopy is not investing in scouts. That's... Mm, that's not ideal. Mitvet has scouts. Mitvet knows the score here. He's, he's suiciding one, but... Um, if Goopy had scouts... He needs to have scouts with his tanks, man. I mean, with tank to tank, I guess it's not so big a deal, but you need to find them. And if he had more scouts, he could find all of these unprotected stuff and just kill everything. Except, like, you, you can't just cover everything with towers. You will waste so much metal and energy trying to do that. But... So he is investing all in on instigators, and Mitvit has to do that to maintain parity. But... Eventually, it's gonna break, oh, and here it is. He's queued up a leveler. Leveler out, which is going to make Goopy's life hell. I mean, <laughs> we have seen levelers will absolutely shred light tanks. Well, we haven't seen that. We're sitting versus bots, but it generally takes like two or so to really make a dent because levelers don't, they, they, ha they make up for an AOE what they might lack a bit in damage versus higher health targets. Hmm. See? See? Medvet, that's what you do. Okay. Goopy, though, did catch that in time because he has radar and he was able to see this. Medvet, though, yeah. He he knows the drill. He's making scouts. He's going and killing... Oh. Okay. That was not a bad idea, but he was too far away from the explosion. So, we might see that again. Goopy's um, mech's self-destruction doesn't kill the scout unless the scout is like right on top of it. It's much better for killing fleas. See, if you're trying to raid mechs, you want to be aware. The enemy can self-destruct the mechs, 
and it will kill a scout if the scout is like standing right on top of it. So that is the, um, let's say I have 350 damage and a 120 AOE. That's enough to kill a scout. That's enough to even damage a tank, but um, it'll die quickly. Exploiter. Armed extractors, three of them. Three exploiters, okay. Okay, okay, that's, I, I hadn't even noticed that. He's been building exploiters, which will make them pretty much immune to scouts and, and light raids. You have to actually invest heavily in tanks to preach those, because they have a lot of health. He's still naked expanding here, but he's counting on the few exploiters he does build up front. That goopy, that's where his army is. That's where his army is. Okay, yep, see, the exploiter will go down versus that much many tanks, but it, they will kill a tank or two with them. And it's really bad to lose your units in enemy territory for obvious reasons, because your enemy will get the reclaim. And it takes so much time to get your units back in the field. Okay, he caught the leveler out. <laughs> That's good. You don't want them, if, if it had joined up with this one, Goopy's life would really have been hell. But, um... Mitbit really should have had kept that with his tanks. I don't know what his tanks are doing. He's not really microing them well. Goopy's running circles around Mitbit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, okay. Goopy... Goopy's economy... There's 42 solars total. Mitbit's building more. He's queued up a lot. Goopy's um, building some solars too. Uh-oh. Okay, what's happening here? Megupi's commander has walked all the way across the map. His D gun is working. What? Oh my gosh! What the hell? Goopy! What? Oh no! Okay, that was that was foul. Foul. Can, can, can we can we do, can we redo? <laughs> Raf, can we redo that? What the hell, Goopy? You you shot your own army. You shot your own army. Oh, brilliant. Okay. He shot his own army with a disintegrator. I guess the automatic lead target function trying to target an enemy tank must have led it all the way into his army, so... Okay. <laughs> that that would have gone on a bit longer than it did. Oh, it's hard to tell who would have won that, but Mitvit had a better game all around, I think. Exploiters doing some good work chewing apart the enemy. Even though they died, they took tanks with them, which is important. You want to bleed off the enemy forces as much as you can. To, so they can do less damage in your territory and you can take them out easier. Mifid had scouts. He actually made scouts and he kept them with his army. He lost a few tanks in the open engagement or he would have done a lot more damage trying to go around and kill the economy back here. But the scouts to spot for his tanks to raid the undefended economy. That's exactly what needed to happen for Goopy, and fortunately it did not. But uh, <laughs> that was a really, really good game. Mipvet is pretty, pretty good on everything, micro and macro, but so is Goopy. And uh, I hope to see another matchup with these two, actually. I will see you guys later.